When you are first starting out running your Bitcoin Lightning Network node, you are probably going to be tempted to dip your feet in the water by creating lots of smaller channels. And especially if you are not a Bitcoin whale, I know I'm not, it can be really tempting to create more channels with more peers and put less Bitcoin in them. Now, in this week's quick video, I want to encourage you not to do that. And I want to explain why when it comes to Lightning Network channels, size really does matter. Now, when I was first creating my Bitcoin Lightning node, I made the same mistake that I see so many beginners do. And by the way, I love all of you for contacting me and wanting to open up channels. And I felt so bad having to tell you all that my minimum channel size is 10 million Satoshis, which is a really big amount. If you're just starting out, you're not yet comfortable putting your Bitcoin in this Lightning Network beta thing that you're not sure how it works. But here's the thing. Lightning Network routing and routing nodes are really based on the idea of gossip. Now, this gossip thing is essentially nodes communicating to one another when they are able to successfully route or unsuccessfully route a payment through a node. In other words, a node may try to route a payment through your node and find that you do not have enough of a balance on the way that it is trying to send, whether inbound or outbound. When that happens, the gossip permeates out through the network and other nodes are updated so that they don't try to route through your node. Now, typically, what happens is a lot of different services that are trying to assess your node are going to send out what is called probes or probe test payments. And those probes are going to try to send a certain amount through your node in order to see if you have that amount of inbound or outbound capacity. Now, I've never been able to find out exactly how much they are sending in those probe payments, but my estimation is that they are trying to send one or two or even three million Satoshis, probably not three million Satoshis, but one or two million Satoshis through your node. Now, obviously, if you are opening channels that are 1 million Satoshis, it is very, very, very rare that you are ever going to have 100% of the sats on your side. And this is why my typical recommendation for people opening channels is that you should not be opening any channel less than 4 or 5 million Satoshis. And the reason for that is simple. We can assume that your node is never going to be perfectly balanced on that channel if you are getting some flow. And therefore, if someone is trying to route a 1 million Satoshi payment, you want to have a certain amount of flexibility so that even if, say, 70% or 50% or 60 or 75% are all the way on the other side, you're still able to route test payments. You see, failed payments on your node lead to you getting less potential routing because the rest of the network is going to know that your channels are just not viable. Now, in a previous video, I've actually shown how you can use LNTOP to see how many failed routes are coming through your node, and you can see if you are the reason that they're failing, and you can even see if insufficient balance is the way and the reason that this failure came about. Now, doing this, I quickly came to realize that effectively having these small channels, even if I have more of them and more potential connections to more other routing peers, was really useless because the entire network knew that my channels did not have enough inbound or outbound capacity to route the types of payments that I was looking for. Now, I know you're tempted to say, well, the value of Bitcoin is going to go up over time and there are going to be multipath payments and pick hard payments and ways of splitting payment so that the average payment coming through your node is going to be smaller. Well, yes, that is probably true in the long term. But right now, if you want to be able to earn free sats by routing on your node and make up for all the transaction fees that you have created to open those channels, well, you kind of got to do what's working now and multipath payments are not yet fully rolled out. Picard payments, as far as I know, are not rolled out as all. And this is the way that some of these algorithms like the Lightning Terminal Web are determining the viability of your node for routing. So yeah, maybe it's going to change in the future and maybe the average routing amount or the probe amount is going to go down. But for right now, this is what I'm seeing that is working.
Now, not to worry if you don't have hundreds and hundreds of thousands and millions and bajillions of sats if you're not a Bitcoin whale. I know I'm not either because there are tons of ways that I have covered in many of my other videos, such as my top Lightning Network tips and my top advanced Lightning Network tips to double your a capacity inbound and outbound for the same amount of Satoshis. I've also covered ways that you can sell, do swaps, and I'm always coming out with many, many more videos. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and hit the bell notification icon to be notified when new videos come out. Now, just to summarize this video, first of all, more channels is not better. In fact, you'll probably do better having nice, thick, girthy channels. Additionally, I do not recommend opening up channels anything less than 4 million Satoshis per channel. And finally, I would recommend that if you are going to open these bigger channels, find ways to get twice as much routing for your buck. These can include Lightning Network swaps, inbound liquidity, or just opening balanced channels, which is another topic that I recently did a video on. Now, I really hope that this clears up one of the biggest mistakes that I've seen all of you make, and I would love to hear if this saves you from wasting thousands of Satoshis opening tiny little channels that you're just going to close later. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give a like, consider sending a tip on Lightning Network of even a few Satoshis, and make sure to share this video and tell your friends. Been a pleasure, as always, sharing this information with you, and I'll see you in the next video.